what is up guys Akhir Shir back with another video and today we are up with the L293D part 2 tutorial video today we will be looking at the pinout in the circuit diagram of how to control a motor from the basic L293D IC and uh, and we will uh, lay it down also so we can see that in working so let's take a look at the pinout quickly so as I had told in the previous video the IC is similar from both the sides we see enable pin right here that's 1 and that's 9 enable that's in in out 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 in in VCC VCC so pinning starts from here that's 1 and in the IC we see that pin number starts from this dot with this groove also so this is right here the pin 1 and consequently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's the last pin right here, 16. And so, the first pin is enable, which is as I had told that uh, according to the input given in here, like input input given in here the output wave is also like this so if input is of like this output will also be of like this form but in a higher amplitude of voltage the voltage will be decided by this pin this is for the voltage or rather I mark this with a red pen this is the voltage pin this is also the voltage pin so whatever the voltage supplied in here will be supplied to the motor these are inputs that uh, we have to input logic 1 or 0 that is plus 5 or 0 volts so that's and that's similarly input for in here so when it's 1 or 5 volts here the output will be full and when it's 0 the output will be 0 for the output we see that uh, we have to simply connect a motor from in here and these are the ground four ground pins which are also referred to the heat sink pins so now we'll uh, lay out a quick circuit from the other side of the IC as this side is pretty much messed up so we have to power on a motor from an Arduino and we'll simply take an Arduino as a M or microcontroller we'll label that firstly we have to ground these pins we will ground and heat sink these pins in our circuit the output will be going to a motor so here we have a motor the polarity is not a factor these are the inputs that will go on to a microcontroller that's our Arduino in this case any digital IO pins that will give out a input of 1 or 0 we can also put in the enable onto the analog pins of the Arduino and uh, we'll put this VCC off for a battery source of say 12 volts and this can be grounded again and also connected to the ground of the Arduino I sh think that should be connected to the ground of the Arduino as well so that's basically it uh, right now we'll not be using the Arduino we'll not be using the Arduino we'll connect the input pins directly to plus or plus 5 or 0 volts to check the motor running direction so that's it let's move to the lab for the practical application of this so we are in the lab now and I have a simple type breadboard here just stuck on a plywood a plywood thing with some binder post and some screw terminals and a hole for hanging this thing out you can make one 
that's pretty handy so now coming back to the focus on the l293 d ic uh, we'll start the we'll use this side and for this side that's the dot and that's the enable pin the first one and the last one is the vcc pin here i'm having an output from the very pretty familiar baku bench power supply that will be the 12 volt and that's an adapter plugged in with the 5 volt power supply and so let's wire it taking a look at the connection this is the 5 volt as i told you i'll be plugging it right in here this will become the 5 volt uh, array and i'll plug this right in here so that this becomes the uh, 12 volt array i'll time lapse the connection video and then uh, show it to you So now as I have connected the circuit and I have also checked the motor working and that's the other direction. Let's look into the circuit and I'll explain to you how does this happen. I mean the complex circuitry uh, which is pretty much easy. Uh, right in here as we had the 5 volt we have the orange line going down to the enable pin that's the first pin of the ic here we have put in 5 volt through the enable pin so that the output is also a stable one to the motor that's 5 volt next to that we see a yellow wire that's the first input and i have plugged it into a loose terminal right here as i'll switch the power uh, from right here and we see the yellow thing other wire also going into the second input terminal on this side which is again for uh, the second input and as we need we'll switch it on after that the third terminal is connected right here to this blue wire and this blue wire goes to the motor wire that's the red wire which goes to the motor the other wire of the motor that's the black one goes to another blue terminal right here this blue terminal goes to over here which is right here and uh, which is connected to the second output in the center we see two black wires going in that's the ground which is connected to the ground rail right here we can connect the ground also to the heat sink I, I mean you have to when you make a project you can put a smaller heat sink of this sort over the l293 dic you have to essentially use a heat sink like that so uh, now as i have had explained the circuit we here have a yellow wire going down from the positive rail of the 5 volt and i'll when i put it right in here we see a motor moving in one direction wait i'll put in maybe a wire so that you can so this is going like this in here and I, if I put this in here we see the motor going in the other direction we put it in here it goes in other direction we put it in here we, it goes in other direction so uh, yeah this wire came out so here it goes in other direction here in the other one so what is happening when we switch these here once i am giving the input to one pin and the second time i am giving the input to the second pin so for this time the output is going positive from this blue pin and for when i put the plus 5 volt in here it goes the output the positive one in this pin so according to the di direction of the flow of current in the motor, the motor rotates. So that's basically how the L293D works. And if you have any queries, please comment in uh, the comment section below. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be back with another, this in the next tutorial. 
uh, probably using the L293D with the Arduino using sensors driving motors and what all and you can suggest me some videos too in the comments below thanks for watching if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and this is Akash signing off